Thank you so much. Uh, Chairwoman Fox, thank you very, very much. I move to strike the last word. And thank you, Ranking thank Member you. Scott, as well, and to your staff for hosting today's markup. Today's bill, the Pregnant Students' Rights Act, is unfortunately not a bill about protecting pregnant and parenting students or improving outcomes at all. As written, this legislation is just another thinly veiled attempt to further roll back the rights of women in our country and unduly pressure students into making serious health decisions, deeply personal health decisions that are best left to women, their families and their doctors and not to us, the politicians. Instead, we could be spending this time here today considering legislation that will actually support pregnant and parenting students. Instead of trying to score political points, I encourage my colleagues to consider legislation like mine to study the issue and determine why it is that parenting college students are less likely to graduate despite earning, earning higher GPAs than students without children. We should not leverage the very real needs of students and their children against the highly polarizing and personal topics of reprodu reproductive rights and abortion. In November, I introduced the Understanding Student Parent Outcomes Act of 2023 with my friend and colleague from North Carolina, Deborah Ross. It would help us identify and establish best practices to improve graduation, graduation rates and to help pregnant and parenting Americans to stay in school. Practices like ensuring access to quality on-campus childcare, accommodations for breastfeeding, and increased accountability when schools fail to provide these things. Supporting pregnant and parenting students should be a bipartisan effort, but it can't be when this bill our colleagues brought today is written in such a way that it has more to do with pushing an ideological stance on abortion than assisting the students that it claims to. I look forward to working with my colleagues to ensure that the more than 5.4 million students who are parenting while in school are given the support that they need <clears throat> to finish their degree, improve their career and family, and move into that higher income level that they've been dreaming of and working so hard towards. I would like to submit um, a letter from the Coalition for Pregnant and Parenting Students Advocacy expressing their deep concern about the consequences of my colleague's bill and, and its failure to truly address the needs of students. I wholeheartedly encourage all of my colleagues to oppose the amendment in the nature of a substitute and I yield back the balance of my time. 